Thanksgiving dinner, which consists of baked tin, dressing with chicken gravy, sweet potato casserole, deviled eggs, green beans with bacon, and a pineapple cranberry gelatin salad. So, uh, you know, we appreciate it if you watch all my videos and want to post it so you can get maybe some ideas for Thanksgiving dinner. But this is for Thanksgiving on a budget for two to six people with a twist. And I'll explain the twist as I go along. Okay, for the sweet potato casserole, I'm going to need about three cups of mashed sweet, baked sweet potato. Now, I baked my sweet potatoes yesterday, so I have them done. I went ahead and put them in my pan after peeling them and mashing them up. And to this, I'm going to add a half a cup of crushed pineapple. This is my twist. I don't know about anybody else, but to me, pineapple and sweet potato go together so well, and it gives an excellent flavor to the casserole. Okay, now I'm going to add two beaten eggs. One cup of granulated sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla, one stick of softened butter. Now I've been letting this set at room temp for a little while to get it softened. If you don't have softened butter, I do use frozen butter, but I'll take and I'll braid it on the grater so it can incorporate better and a fourth of a cup of milk. And then, well this might help if I actually had it plugged in, wouldn't it? I'll take and I'll mix all this together. all mixed up you just put it in your casserole dish and just kind of make sure it fills it in Ask yourself, well, is that all there is to it? No, it's got a topping to it. I just gotta mix it up a little bit. Let me move this stuff right here out of my way. Happy guinea pigs being good to me on that. Get these out of here. Put right there. Okay. Move this over here out of my way. And while I'm doing this, I'll tell you, I do have my oven already preheating to 350 degrees. And this will bake for about 25 minutes. Okay, 
with topping. You're going to need half a cup of flour, one cup of brown sugar, five tablespoons of butter, and I use unsalted butter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix that together before I put the nuts in. And you need one cup of chopped walnuts. If you don't want to use walnuts, you can use pecans. It's entirely up to you. It's just, I've always used walnuts with it. And uh, you see what I'm doing here? I'm trying to make a crumble. And if you watch my biscuit recipe, you'll see how I make up, I break up the lard and stuff in my biscuits. Get a like a crumbly texture. And that's all I'm doing with the butter and with here with this flour and sugar. It's kind of mixing it into a crumbly texture. I don't know about any of y'all. Sweet potato casserole is probably one of my all-time favorites foods. Love the stuff. It's my favorite dish that I cook. I don't fix it as often as I'd like simply because of the sugar. But the sugar is what makes it oh so good. about this casserole is it can be eaten as a side dish or it can be eaten as a dessert. It's just that good. Okay, I think I've got it crumbled up enough. And what's not broke up on the butter will melt down. That's what the top looks like before we put it in the oven. Get my hands wiped off a little bit. Get all that butter off there. I'm going to put this in the oven and let it bake for 25 minutes and then I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Just a second. Okay, we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, we're back and the sweet potato casserole is now out of the oven. As you can see, it's got a beautiful golden crust on top. And I have to tell you, I'm going to have to take a bite of this. This looks so good. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's going to be so good. Get a bite over here for some happy guinea pig to try. Happy guinea pig eats again! This looks so good. Mm. Oh yeah. Do a little happy dance. <laughs> that pineapple just sets that sweet potato off. That is the only way I make my sweet potato casseroles with pineapple and sweet potato. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video. Video? I can't even talk today. I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you did, uh, haven't already, please subscribe. Give me a uh, like if you liked the video, two thumbs, or give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't like the video, well, just give me a thumbs down, either or. Uh, leave a comment or a question if you have one. If you don't mind sharing the video, please do so. And there's a little bell icon next to that red subscribe button. If you had not already clicked on it, click on that bell icon and you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Thank y'all for watching. Have a great day. Bye, y'all.
Bye, y'all. Where's my boy?